Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. are back. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Yes. How you doing? How you doing? It's your boy D Rich. I'm Deanne. And we're here, and this is Mika's with opinions. That's T right. This week we have a special guest with us. Yes, we do. Miss <laughs> Beautiful Ebony, how you doing today? I'm good. Thank good, you. good, good, good. Thank, <laughs> Thank you for, you for coming on the show. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Sure. We brought you on today um, because we had a discussion in the past about different relationships between, you know, black man and black woman and mm -hmm. different ways that we've progressed and ways that we have to continue to proceed and uh, to become better. So, you know, wanted to bring you on the show to see if we can get mm -hmm. your opinions on certain topics that <laughs> we had some disagreements about, you know. Um, <laughs> we uh, we have this chat called the Coalition of Colored People. Is that what it is? Yeah. It? That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Oh, TCC yeah. chat. Yeah. Oh. The oh. color coalition. The color coalition. That's what it is. There you go. So you know we have you know constant debates in there, and everything. So uh, you you chose not to do that anymore. Partake in it. You know. I just be taking a little break. I be scrolling, uh, yeah, but yeah. um, you know. I'd be busy as shit. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Okay, well, we wanted to get into some of those topics that we actually discussed on there, so... Okay, well, uh, yeah, please fill me in, brother. I, oh, I have no oh, yeah, idea. Oh, yeah, no, I got you, <laughs> yeah, I got you. But before we, a personal invite. Before we get... I got you, okay. I do got you on there. Thanks, sir. Before we get there, though, I uh, wanted to, you know, have you introduce yourself, tell yes. us a little bit about your show, yeah. you know, what's what it's about, and everything from there, so... Okay. Um, how much about my show? Good. Whatever you feel like giving us. Um, no, my name is Ebony, originally from Mississippi. I've been in Arizona for nine years now. Um, what part I, of Mississippi, by the way? Somebody may want to know. Uh, I'm sorry. I was born in it's Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Okay. Yeah, Jacksonville. Okay. Um, grew up in a small town called Phoebe, Mississippi. Okay. okay. Graduated high school from West Point High School. Okay. And I went to the Jackson State University. Oh, okay. okay. All right. The amazing HBCU. Yes, it is. Okay. Mississippi. That's good. Um, so in the Valley, I I do have a podcast as well um, called Venus Clapback that I co-host with um, Coco. Um, and my name is Muse on that particular show. Um, and we've done some really, really dope things in the Valley. Um, the show is basically about all things black women. Okay. Um, black women identifying, femme, queer, whatever, we don't really care. Okay. Um, yeah, and so from there we've done like two productions of uh, When I Fell In Love With Black Women, and it was great. The first one was at Tinker Center for the Arts, and the other one was at South Mountain Community College. Okay. Um, so some really dope things on the horizon for 2020 with that, we were really excited about that. Um, and the, the way the podcast came about is because we were two black women living in Phoenix, Arizona, and there are mm -hmm. lots of ways to feel invisible here. That's very true. Um, yes. And yes. so we just decided to give voice to that, like what does that feel like? And not only for black women, but to also um, kind of give the black men some tips and tricks on that shit. Like, um, love who you love or whatever but the black woman is supreme yeah. oh okay um, oh yeah oh, at yeah. the end of the day in my personal opinion touching on them yes. subjects we hit oh yeah i'm very intrigued yes. Yes. Just, well, no, yes girl you give me a your guess <laughs> continue continue please um yeah and then i'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur i have a business um i have a pay and step business um it's been about three going years there. going strong with okay. that when's your next program oh uh, well, we have classes every week. Okay. We do logos every first Tuesday of the month. Okay. Okay. Um, and it's all I host the HBCU alumni events. Okay. We have about three to four events a year. Okay. We get the HBCU alums in the valley together. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was always, always hated on HBCU kids. A that's probably because you didn't go. It is. It's, 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 it's only, but wow. that's, they, they, they better than us, man. We don't think. We don't think. Hey, shout out to the. Hey, shout out to them PWI kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying we had to hold it down. <laughs> <think that. laughs> oh, here we go. You see what no. we're talking about? <laughs> no, it's an education. No, no, I hear it's you. It's an education, if but. I, if I get my masters, you know. when I get my masters, I'm going to HBC. There I you just, go. Just, That's you know, good. I, it's it's. It, I recommend anybody who has children to at least let your kids go for a semester. Okay. Or at least a year, and then let your child make a decision after that. But okay. 
So you're saying that all black homes, we should all, we should put more. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you Absolutely. On that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That same energy that you put into protesting on the PWI campus. Yeah, when we did that, I did that. We did a, we did a uh, nice little sit-in. <laughs> it can be done at the HBCU to raise the same issues. Whatever you're protesting for or making noise about, you can do that at the HBCU campus and make it better in the same manner. Respect. That's okay. just how I feel about it. Okay, I hear you, I hear you. Respect, respect, okay, okay. Well, you know, we'll dive in uh, a little bit into our, our topic for today. Um, the title is going to be Toxic Masculinity versus Toxic Feminism. Now, you know, a lot of people may be wondering, you know, what at least the second part is, toxic feminism, you know, that um, because yeah. usually you don't hear that, you hear the toxic masculinity a little bit more. Right. Um, toxic feminism to me, I feel is, you know, is the the overuse of some of these, you know, qualities that you mentioned as far as like, you know, like what we you would see on, and, and honestly, it's mainly white women, but you would see, you know, the classic feminists that would get mad and, you know, about a guy wanting to say hello to a woman and, you know, now she's, they use the triggered me and the gif and everything. So, you know, I would say uh, that toxic feminism is, is. Is that feminism? Is it? What? Well, I, mean, I was going to ask. The men are the only ones that have that complaint about of what? Um, the way that a woman wants to be approached or talked to. Mm. That has nothing to do with feminism at all. But do you think it's uh, usually you hear that the most from like feminists? Women, sure. Feminists, probably not. You don't think so? Probably okay. Not. Okay. So and yet and yet. So what is a feminist? In the correct uh, sense, here. do you feel? Let's 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 let's, let's go to the homeboy Google. The homeboy Google? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought, I was about to, I thought it was another app. I was, I was right. about to say, I was like, yo, yeah. you got to put me on. Like, <laughs> right. I was like, what, we got a black Google? And right. we need to do that. Somebody need to go out there. And one Brother, of them, you. Yeah. Well, I'm not, that's not my doing. lane. That's what not my mean? lane. Somebody out there doing tech. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Okay, Somebody well, out there I'll doing computer Tyler science. Do yeah. Tyler looks like he can do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so basically, um, just to talk about the feminist movement, and I'm totally just Googling or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. It were, refers to a series of political campaigns for reforms on issues such as reproductive rights, domestic violence, maternity leave, equal pay, women's suffrage, sexual harassment, and sexual violence. Um, and it goes on, but I'm not going to keep going on there. So I mean, none of that has to do with catcalling. No, it doesn't. No. So are we just talking about women or are we talking about feminists? We were talking and about I think, feminists. Yeah, but the example that you gave does not I, th I felt like that was a film. Like we we see them. Like you never seen the the whole like on YouTube feminists going wrong. Like you know you never seen that. You know, I'm gonna put you on. We gonna see. We gonna watch that. But it's basically <laughs> a whole bunch of women bugging out on men okay. on simple things that you know, or even even the whole. Um, let me see. What else? Just the like the way that they like you said the way that they were being approached mm -hmm. and it was like it could be as simple as a, a hello and they were like why do you feel like you can say hello to me or like anything like that usually those were things that was coming up with the feminists but mm -hmm. you know you had some examples as far as with amber rose with the uh with the slut walk in i thought a, a feminist was a woman uh who was empowered she doesn't really you know listen to the standards of society like when it comes to sexuality how you know she should carry herself about you know um cursing you know she breaks all the rules you mm -hmm. know she's independent she's somebody that uh doesn't really have a label you know she's just free to be who she is and you know amber rose um i've seen a few of her slut walks and she encourages women like just because i dress a certain way or i have sex with a man it doesn't mean doesn't make me less of a whole than if a man has sex with 20 women and there's no um repercussion for it but a woman you know that walk of shame that you know like she made a commercial like the day after or she had sex with a guy and you know she was tiptoeing to her car she had her shoes off and that whole walk of shame that slut walk so mm -hmm. you know um black china you know these are women that are on a platform that is saying you know just because i've slept with a few men doesn't make me a whole mm -hmm. You know, it's my right as a woman, how I choose to dress, who I choose to sleep with, and a woman shouldn't be shamed for that because men do it all the time, and you guys get props. For which part? Having sex with many women. It's in the rap music. Like, you guys are labeled as players. You're labeled as everything but what women are. We're, we're called whores, sluts. 
you know, vagina is trash and all these things, you know, like it's it's a yeah, we're late, we're limited to Did that. We ever talk about that? Do we there was it was something about no, there was a thing that was track. It was about um whether or not vagina is really trash or not and you know, there was just there was a whole it was an IG thing, don't mind me. For oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, I was telling him, you know, I tried to do a little research, and Alice Walker had a uh, great quote that you may know. She said, a womanist is to feminist, to a feminist, what lavender is to purple. Mm -hmm. So she coined the womanist term, mm -hmm. right? Because I know she wrote a play about that, and I love Alice Walker because she made the color purple. And if you ever read that book, that book touches on a lot, a lot of things like oh, molestation and sexuality. Ooh, even um, even like in the book, if you saw the movie, you know, uh, Shug Avery was <laughs> she messed with Mister and she was messing with Seely. So it's like they left some of that out the movie, but mm -hmm. that book exposed me to a lot of things like mm -hmm. you know, Daddy Sleep. Ooh, Lord, that book is something deep. Mm -hmm. But I could be wrong. I mean, I I really don't know. Do you just people who, who label themselves as that, but do mm -hmm. they carry themselves? Do they represent for like, the community? Um, they represent for a for women in general, yes. Okay. Um, because sexual empowerment is important for black women specifically. Um, and with the womanist coined by Alice Walker, the reason why she did that was to make sure that the black woman was included in the feminist movement. Because, um, I mean, it wasn't for us, just like right. lots of other things. Yeah. That they just needed numbers for it, so they didn't yeah. open it up. Um, but the womanist um, term is to center black women in those reproductive rights, in sexual harassment, in all of that. Oh, sorry. Okay, no, you're good. Um, in all of that. So, and that's kind of where I prefer to fall under. Okay. Um, women's rights, sure. Black women, priority. That's kind of okay. where I'm at with it. Okay. Yeah. And I, I mean, I just want to touch on what you said. Um, you're a black man, but mm -hmm. what when you were saying that uh, black women don't get love out here, are you talking about our own race, black men? Because I told him, living in Arizona, black men, they don't date black women. They'll date everything else but a black woman. Some. or uh, Well, some. Let me yeah. rephrase that. Some black men. Or they'll date a woman who is not black, but she has the features of a black woman. You know, mm -hmm. go get Botox, go get her ass done. She might tan. Right. You know, she'll have the appearance of a black woman, but she's not. Is that what you mean by you living out here? It's like a, it's, a it's different It's all encompassing. Um, okay. When I moved out here, I was the only black woman anywhere I decided to work. Okay. Um, and so a lot of black women have to create spaces for themselves to feel safe and secure from you know, whatever. Um, okay. The dating aspect of it, I, I hate that we have to center ourselves as it relates to interracial dating, um, as if that gives us any more value or purpose or worth. Um, but is it a, a real thing? Hell yeah, it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. But you can feel invisible at work. You can yeah. be silenced at work. Yeah, that's You can true. be silenced when you go into the grocery store. You can yeah. be silenced, you know, when you're dealing with um, the police. So it's just to as far as the podcast that we have is just to make sure that we highlight the black woman period and okay. not not from the gaze of black men or do this so that you can get chose no fuck all that noise like do this shit so you can be happy in the fucking morning you know it has outside of men outside of trying to date or anything like that like that's nah so i got okay. a question do you feel as though that women you know sometimes base their happiness around relationships sure and do you think that's an issue I think it's an absolute issue. Um, I am always uh, inquiring of women who are marriage minded. Mm -hmm. Who are you before you get married though? Because then you get married, then you're a wife, and if you decide to have a family, then you're a mother. And then at the end of the day, some years down the line, you're sitting around looking like, well, who am I? I don't even know what I like to do anymore. If it's not surrounded by play dates, pick up from school, cooking meals, washing laundry. But like can that be the, as a, as a so woman at the end of the day? I was going to say, though, but can that, on, I was going to say, can that be defined on both ends, though, as far as, mm -hmm. like, when you get into a relationship? Because even a man can get into a routine to where now I'm just working, you know, I'm taking the kids to practice, I'm coming home, what's the name, I get to see, we talk for, like, two minutes, usually it's about the kids. Sure. We not, you know, we get into this kind of, like, cycle and everything, so can can that be both plays? Yeah, both absolutely. Plays? Okay. It depends on how that particular relationship is set up, of course. Okay. But if we're talking about majority of the time, it's gonna fall on the woman to do that. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I got a question. What? Uh, hold on. Just I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, no. Go okay. ahead, yeah, no I was going to say just say. just because was you? Mm -hmm. Oh, probably. Go ahead. Speak uh, I was just about yeah. to talk about just the just the most you know uh, I guess timely thing of what's happening in our news with you know Aisha Curry mm -hmm. of what you know what they saw was what a lot of Black America see as like you know the kind of marriage that a lot of us want you know right. she stay out the way you know what I'm saying they they he's a winner he's got my money. This man who's, from our eyes, obviously, we, we on outside looking in, but we don't know their lives inside and out. But, you know, he seems to be loyal, take care of his family, cutest kids in the world, all that other good stuff. So, you know, but what she said on the uh, on Jada's uh, round table mm -hmm. was uh, that, you know, she wanted attention from other men. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, I, I do. I did understand what she oh. was saying. <laughs> but but at the end of the day it's like you know what like in my dmx what these chicks want from a nigga you know what i'm saying like like because you know it it come, kind of comes back to a man and like man like uh, what, what else i gotta do you know what i'm saying especially for us regular brothers out here like it's like damn like i thought she got everything we wanted the comments you know crazy yo it, are yo, they, i wish you gonna read it these comments are going yo, crazy I, I wish you know <laughs> what i'm saying like I, I like i wish um you know i did as much as i can like what else you want from a brother so could you wait maybe give a share of what you think about that <sighs> it's for me it's weird um in understanding what i do about the curries how they got started they got married young mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and she's 30, right? Got three yeah. kids. Yeah. Ooh. Um, and again, yeah. back to the conversation we just had. If Steph is if Steph is off playing games, mm -hmm. who is taking care of the household? Yeah. Who's holding down everything else? Sure. So I see what you're saying. I, I, I'm twofold. Like I understand where she was coming from. Yeah. I don't necessarily have empathy for it. Okay. Um yeah. the because to me the way she said it the way she phrased it in the context of the conversation was kind of like i want the same kind of attention my husband is getting that's why can't I, I have that and that's it's what like, i said i'm 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 not convinced that that no one has said anything flirtatious to Aisha right. curry mm. i'm not i'm not convinced of that now has she been just like her um not her like steph's mother said like they do, you're just not looking, you're not paying any attention. So whether she's not checking her DMs, she's just thinking that, oh, somebody's holding the door a little bit longer than usual, like, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. you know. But that's also a downfall to not living a little, a little bit of life before you get married. Facts. I mean, well, um, I, I made memes about this. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, in joking of what she said. And, you know, she was like, I don't necessarily want the attention. She wants to feel like she's desire desirable because y'all remember that girl that was at the game? She had her hand in her mouth, her finger, oh, yeah, yeah. We and, all saw and curry. That. So what she's saying is, you know, you got all these good looking women, right, throwing, <laughs> throwing themselves at, at her or at him. And, you know, um, we already know about the, uh, who's the basketball player that told Carmelo Anthony that Lala takes like honey nut <laughs> Cheerios? That was, that was KG. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, Lala just, just like, oh, your girl, Cheerios. right. You know, honey nut like, Cheerios, <laughs> right. There was a meme about that, but I, I understand what, what she was saying as far as feeling like she is like, hey, I haven't lost it. Mm -hmm. I'm 30. I got three kids. You know, I think she's beautiful, yeah. but someone made a comparison to how she dressed. She dresses like. She well, doesn't, you know, well, that was something that my homegirl actually came out and said, like, you need to pick a struggle because last year, um, you know, you was talking about, you know, females dressing or women dressing in a way that, you know, is more modest and everything yeah. and was attacking, and you know, that does. whole front. And then, which is fine, which is yeah. absolutely fine. But then but, you then you came back and you jumped on the other right. end, of, I mean, you know, wanting to be more desirable. So. It's kind of like, you know, she said, pick a struggle there. To push the conversation forward, we had an episode about the black church and black women. Mm. Um, because they are Christian. Okay. Yes. Um, and the black church don't really set black women up for success, in my opinion. And so for her, and I'm totally just giving my opinion, I don't know Aisha mm -hmm. from, you know, somebody yeah, randomly right. walking mm -hmm. out on the street. However, um, as a reformed church girl, <laughs> you are raised and indoctrinated that modesty is key. And this yeah. is what, this is how you need to dress and this yeah. is how you need to act and this right. is what you need to say in order to right. get and keep your husband and all this other stuff. And so I feel like right now, 
Aisha is in this position of recognizing like, damn, womanly, woman, worldly women have the same access as I do and I've been doing every goddamn thing right. Mm -hmm. So why am I not getting the same kind of attention that my I mean, husband she, she's is probably, is I mean, like when I think about point, it, though. Yeah, what, what I was thinking is when she goes to these games, you know how they have that box with the wives? Yeah. In comparison to how she dressed and how she looks, she looks nothing like them. They probably had plastic surgery, mm -hmm. had some enhancements. She probably feels out of place because she can't identify. You know, there's a mm -hmm. few basketball wives that would say that you go to the box and you would see the mistress or the girlfriend or whatever you know mm -hmm. so maybe that's what she's she's talking about i mean she might just want that you know someone to kind of um not praise her but just say like man your wife is gorgeous like wow yeah. you know what i mean just that recognition because maybe he's not we don't know if he's telling her I mean, he did I come out. He, he did come he out, did. and he he defended her of about course. her being brave. You know, yeah, but there, saying, but I mean, help. he may not. Like, it may be to a point of where like they've been together for yeah, so long. Yeah, you know, you get complacent. In his mind, he probably thinks like, oh, she knows, she right. knows how I feel. Right, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. versus it, it, like actually. And when we we go through that, you know, like you're in a relationship with a woman, and yeah. then you quit buying mm -hmm. her flowers, you stop complimenting her, mm -hmm. you don't notice her new lip color, or she's lost weight. I mean, it's like, I, I, you get kind of like um, used to it, attached. It's like, oh, it becomes normal. You know, when you're first dating someone, you're courting someone, the compliments, the flowers, the romance, and you get into a relationship, and it's like, now you guys are settling, you know, things you're used to do, you're not doing, and that goes to both ends. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. It's possible, but you did touch on something that um, that I think that is an issue with a lot of, I would say, our women, and, you know, and, and they're caught between, mm -hmm. you know, that living by the book, to where you know, I, like I, I had a conversation that where we come from. Mm -hmm. I know, I know you, you know what I'm saying. You reformed and all of that, <laughs> but now you know moved on. I told you why. I'm kind of re reformed as well, mm -hmm. but you know, on a different front. We right. talked about that, but um, but you know, to where you know my basic beliefs is still that's what we stand on, mm -hmm. and you know, as far as we're moving further and further away from that, like you said, she's caught in between living that by the book and the worldly way. So, I mean, based on the worldly way, though, we wouldn't have too many more relationships. So, I mean, do you think as far as, I mean, I mean, be real, because, I mean, if you're looking at it, like you said, they, I can sleep with as many men as you want, as I want. Brothers ain't going for that as far as, like, or that's yes, not, that's are. not. Uh, yes, they are. I'm, yeah. Has Amber Rose you know lost? Bad? Has bad. Amber Rose lost? Yeah, that's some, that's some, that's some, that's some, that's But I mean, but I mean Amber Rose not been married? Oh, yeah, but they're the last. Yeah. But they're the last. It don't matter. How so do Christian going? women get divorced too? That's facts. It don't matter. It don't matter. Ladies, hit that if you feel like hitting that. Squat on that. Wow. Sit on that. That's wild. Get yours. So, I am pro that. orgasm <laughs> too. Sorry. I'm mean, yeah, pro I mean, orgasm I, I as well. You know, <laughs> like, no, but, but, but dudes be out here trying to sell a repressed form of sexuality for black women. Like, no, keep it together. Don't do all that. Like, the pussy don't get loose. It's still there. Yeah, she's well, still good. Who 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 don't want the good cat? Like, what you talking about? Like, like, hold on. What you mean? Like, I hold on. Like, I'm definitely pushing for the orgasm. Definitely, like, like. Uh -huh. So I don't know what oh you God. like. Get that. What? what? <laughs> 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 like, I'm, just, I'm yeah. just saying, no, get that. But no, but I'm, but I'm, but at the end of the day, you don't need to be throwing the cat around either. Like, she can. I don't know why. You should it. You should it. That's, and brother should not, not matter. Yeah. At the end of the day, but that's the at the, right and, right and that's the double standard, though. Yeah, but that's, but at the end of the day, no, I mean, let, let, let's let's, let's, let's dig into that. I would love to understand let's why go, should go she ahead. not throw her vagina around as she so. I mean, well, like, like, if we if, if we gonna say that, I mean, like as even as men, we shouldn't be doing that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I would, I will, I am a double standard kind of brother. This is I'm like, I I do kind of let more, you know, transparency. You know what I mean? I was told, you know, that there was a story, right? It's the story of the master key and the and the lock, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, a master key is a master key because it can open many locks, but a lock that can be opened by any key is useless. Is she open? But I'm just saying, if any key can get up in there, like, is it special? Is that a special? If it, and just just on the basis of the analogy, I'm just saying. But just saying. On the basis of the anatomy. Uh, on <laughs> that don't even make sense. <laughs> I'm just saying that you receive, I'm just saying that I don't feel like, I will one, promiscuity, I think we should slow down on that regardless. That's across on both sides because I don't think it's doing us any benefit. You know, like mm -hmm. you said, because as far as the, the more and more that we, you know, we push that, you know, sex and just, you know, or even, even in lyrics, we was just talking about this last week about, uh, 
you know, um, how everything is about it, you know, fucking somebody's girl. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, these hoes ain't loyal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything is about that. So, um, as we continue to push that forward, I mean, like, more and more folks ain't going to be together. You know, granted, I have been seeing a little bit more as of late, just on my timeline. Just specifically, I just posted about it the other day. I was pretty proud. I saw a lot of proposals in the last mm-hmm. month or so. Mm-hmm. So that's really good. But, I mean, um, shout out shout out to them as well. Y'all know who y'all is. Congratulations. And then, um, but as a whole, we not we not seeing a lot of that. So, I mean, do you Black think Black people that? get married every day. Promiscuity is not a two, 2000 uh, it, not. new occurrence. It's, not. it's, not. it's, a, it's an age-old concept. So do you think it doesn't have any bad ben- or bad effects, negative effects? Irresponsibly, sure. Irresponsibly. So mm-hmm. how do you responsibly? Yeah. How do you responsibly be? be in that, like yeah. How do you be responsibly promis- promiscuous? Like, responsibly pr- promiscuous. Mm-hmm. Um, besides, yeah, besides yeah, that, sure. just you be safe. Problems, communication. So do you believe in uh, energy exchange? Soul ties. Soul ties. No. You don't? No. Okay. Okay. I don't. I, I don't think. I mean, I'm all about sexual empowerment. I don't think women or men should be having sex with as many people. Just And the reason why is, you know, the most embarrassing thing is someone to know your whole sexual history. You know, like, just just the way that that, that looks, that looks crazy. Like, you know, you, you said Amber Rose. I think... You know, even though Amber Rose is a beautiful woman, there's a lot of men who would not sleep with Amber Rose because they know who I she wouldn't. slept with. Yeah, you wouldn't. Some of those no. guys like like Black China. Yeah. You know, we I'm had a conversation about Black China. You know, that Black down. China. You know, she's in. And again, these are women who are famous. I mean, I have a past. If if I was on a platform, y'all would probably know my track record. But there's some men who wouldn't mess with her. I think after a while, it comes to someone wants to be with someone that no one has been with. And so if you're dating someone and your homeboy's like, yeah, she does that one trick, oh, what about the hand? Oh, you know, like, yeah. no one wants to be with someone to me that everyone knows what y'all do. Like, I don't I don't promote that. I think some things you, you should keep to yourself and you have every right to sleep with someone, but to be careless and just sleep with someone just because, I mean. No, we're not talking about carelessly sleeping with people, like. Like, it's my right. If I, I see have somebody vagina. on the street, I want to. No, we're not well, talking about irresponsible, but, immature, having to, no. But you're we're not saying, about that but hold on, hold on, hold on. But are you saying, though, you said if they got the right, you said to sit on it, what's the name if you want to. Absolutely. So if, I see, so if you see brother on the street walking by, damn, I want to I wanna hop on that, yo, come here real quick. Let's go. I don't think she means like that. I think she means like there would be no shame. I'm just saying. You're probably That's, saying like there would be no, no shame if you had a one-night stand. You wouldn't Absolutely. walk away from it like, oh, you know, but, but you, uh, and again, this is very surface conversation, but if when, if you are emotionally in a space where you can handle, emotionally and mentally in a space where you can handle that kind of yeah. um, relationship, then by all means, it's do your okay, thing. Yeah, I but if you're can't. not nope. emotionally capable, if you're not mentally capable to that do that, me. then sit your ass down. Yes, I fall that's in all love I'm saying. with strokes, so that's why I keep it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. And if, and yeah, if you I, know that I about yourself, that. Yeah, then I do. don't continuously get yourself in, you're into right. those kinds of and things. And that's, that's the sad part is, like for some women, I'm one of them, you know, you're having sex with a man, he's looking at it as sex, I'm putting emotion and love because when I love a man, I love him with my heart, mouth, and vagina. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, seriously. I like it's, it's a whole package. So if we're just having sex and you're looking at me as another girl that you can have sex with, I'm looking at it like we're together. Yeah. But how do you get there? Because that's a huge ass miscommunication between the yeah, two. Yeah, but you know, you know, there's a lot of mixed signals. You know, you might, you know, I've dated. Mm-hmm. Ain't no, ain't no mixed signals. There, in, in, in my, in, in my experiences, there are a lot of mixed signals. Because what, what I was I'm telling him. Mixed signal giver. So. I'm, you know what I mean? Like a guy have you stay night at his house. He'll call you, text you. You guys go out to dinner. You met, you m- may have met his mom. You saw his dog, his best friend, and he just want to be friends. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at everything that we've been through. Like, really, you want to be friends? And I, I know who Fido is. Like, no. But, like, but, no, but why are we? <laughs> Not vital. So, yeah, so, like, so vital knows who I am, you know. You know. So uh. women have to do. We have to do a much better job of making sure that whatever that position is is somewhere somewhere that we want to be. I'm not meeting your mother if we haven't defined what this is. I don't give a damn about your dog. Definitely not going to be kicking it and chilling 
and you're ha you have all this access to me? Yeah. No. Saying they're not each other's no, houses. You not, might, no. You know, but some guys would do that and just want to be but, friends. And, and, and it's you easy, said that. It's easy to blame men, but we're yeah. accountable for our actions. Don't be under the bus like, like that. No, 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 Street to relationships, like both okay. of your own no, relationships. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so if if y'all dating and he like, oh, I'm taking him out, and you sit down and talk to his mom, like, oh yeah, I met um Tatiana last week and Michelle the week before, and he brought some Rachel to Christmas, like, mm, no, like it's a it's an easy conversation to have, and after so long, where you feel like you need to understand what the hell is up between the two, then the conversation needs to be had before we start enmeshing into each other's lives. Like it's easy to blame dudes because they send out mixed signals, but you out there chasing the carrot voluntarily, and then mm -hmm. oop, we're just friends. No, he he been telling you the whole time you was friends. I, yeah, you say that, but it's not to me. For me, it's not that simple because I go by not words but actions. So your words you can both. say one thing, you need both. but your actions are saying. Or, or, or how about apartment. this? You need yeah, both. I mean, if you okay, this is my thing. If you're wanting to be friends with someone, there is a friend category. Like I tell guys, we could be friends, we can hang out, we can't sleep around. You're not gonna say that in my house. I'm putting you in that friend zone. You can call me and all that. But once you cross that line, then it's opening up a can of emotions that maybe I'm not ready for. So with guys, if you know, you're telling a woman you want to be friends, you need to treat her like that. Having all this access, spending time with her, staying the night, like just how open. Like a man will say one thing, but he'll show you another. You can well, get mixed signals well, like well, that. Well, I mean, like, do we do we put a time limit on this or like how long this should be? Because I mean, I, I would agree that at a certain amount of time, you know, my brother's just holding the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like we mm -hmm. doing this and we we sitting in the crib and okay, it's cold. been like okay. it's been like five five years. You know what I'm saying? And we still in the same spot. Then I think you should like try and get to know about it. Yeah, it shouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, 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 doing if, it though. If you're, yeah, they out here doing it because both parties are allowing it to happen. That's right. Like it's easy mm -hmm. for for women to say, "Oh, he led me on." No. You was on that leash. Like, you, you hooked the leash up. Like, mm -hmm. you was you was good because you felt good. He made you feel good. It's some new shit. Okay. Your, your ex was trash, so he's showing you something do, something new, something different. But it's the same shit in different clothes. Yeah, it's all like, really we, we, we as women have a divine gift of intuition. And a lot of women you can ask who are divorced or out of relationships or whatever, they knew before shit popped off. Like, he not the one. Yeah. Majority of women know before they sleep with him. Like, and he's not the one. But you go through it anyway. I was just about to say, why and, is that? So why mm -hmm. why is that? Why do we why do we sit while we uh because, waiting? Um, it's uncomfortable to be alone. Waiting for what? I mean, like, yeah. waiting for what? Long, someone just to change? Alone, Long, just a body. Just a body. Waiting yeah, for fine. someone to change? Yeah, yeah. Or it were not. Or is that what we're doing? Well, like, I like don't you said, like, off rip. Seem, even even like, she said off rip. Like mm -hmm. you know that they're not it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean. We go through it anyway. I'm going to speak for myself because I don't believe in, you know, when you meet, like, I think you, actually, you brought up a good uh, subject because I did see a clip that you were talking about. You don't date potential. You don't meet a man and you don't see, like, you know what? He could be this, Hell but. Nah. That's something but we talked about last week. What, yeah. what, am I, what, why? what am I building on? So you'll meet a guy. I don't know. You have a checklist. I don't know if, well, one, I don't know your sexual preference when if man or woman let's mm -hmm. just say whoever you desire to be with mm -hmm. if you meet someone and they're at a point in their life where maybe they're not everything that they can be but with time and your health you know what i mean like i just think that like the, the way what are they doing on that path outside of me what that's are the they question. running are they running that track or are they just sitting at home like man this would be dope this would be dope and then i come in doing this emotional toiling to get it done no no i think some people you meet um you can honestly you can help them wherever they lack you might have that's, that's sure, a power but couple. what are they doing already they could be working towards themselves to get better you know you might just meet them might be like a hand are they have you so, seen acrimony acrimony yeah yeah with taraji and then you seen acrimony it was the tyler I, perry but Wait, uh you gotta tell me it was when story. it was when top taraji kind of like bugged out but basically the timeline of the story is like, she uh was oh, with wait. him Wait, we're not. Hold on, I'm thinking of uh, four color girls. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, he's throwing kids out the window. Okay. They uh, she rocked out with him for a very long period of time. Oh, yeah. he became famous. Yes. Yes. You know, yeah, he got rich oh, off his invention that was a, and man, finally that was a good hit. Movie. Yes. yes, that movie so, was fucking. With that being said, yeah. so folks that don't know, her potential. Taraji, yeah. like saw the potential. She rolled with him throughout his uh, duration. She did all the work. 
you know, and then we talking like a cool 15 years. I think she invested a lot of like time that. in him, and yeah. then when she left him, that's when, when she left him, his invention probably it, it finally yeah. hit, and he was with you know the woman who was there to pick up the pieces after Taraji. So, as far what what do you think about that? Do you think that she was wrong? You know what I'm saying? Or she you know, at the end of it, she she felt like she deserved you know, and yeah. she got paid, but she felt like she deserved everything now because she was along for the for the entire ride. You know. I think she was missing. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't do that. Like, you, you're I, not I, doing 15 years of. Well, yeah, probably not assistance. that long. Oh, so yeah. you gave up on him a long time. Yeah, ago. probably, probably not that long. No. I agree because uh, um, she lost her. Adult they were years. fresh out of college. Yeah. So they're young, so they got time, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you think, and then time flies yeah, by. Now, in this time, and this is this is the part about the dating potential that gets a bit weedy. Right. In that time, she's inherited a whole house. So yep. you, you're not paying for that, but you're fucking up the electricity with this invention. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You're not working any other job to contribute to these bills. Yeah, but lying. I got to bust my ass, and she was working and some regular-ass low-life yeah. job she was. while he's sitting at home toiling over this. Now, you can do that, bro mm -hmm. But when we joined together in holy matrimony, then that meant that we were supposed to... Um, she was already living a pretty good life because of um, the inheritance family. or yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. So she was doing well. Um, but when you when you came in to join with her, then that means you're supposed to either meet her where she was already and escalate it or make her life better off rip. But you get there and then you, we're not going back. Yeah. Just because I got a ring on my finger? That don't make sense. I believe, so you don't believe in, in, in the power of the struggle? Like when two people... Hell no, I'm sorry. You, you, oh, you know? hell no. What? <laughs> wait, 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 in the household, but, but that works. That, 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 that works is how they got that million. Yeah. How they got, for how they for got. 15 years, you're going to willingly let your wife just make work. I mean, what, yeah. Job? I, I, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I probably off. wouldn't. That's nah. a long time. I wouldn't nah. go that long. Nah. Nah. Yeah, I wouldn't go that long. Well, so that's I agree why with she didn't get no Now, to throw it back on Taraji, he did not want to leave her. He didn't. He didn't. You're right. She and wanted to go ahead. Check. But that's, so that, that's, that's where y'all at. But that's where y'all right. at that's, right that's now. She got tired. I want to let go my lady. Yeah. She got oh. tired waiting, I think. Yeah. I think she got you tired. You said that y'all both leaving, right? No, I don't know. No. I said I wouldn't wait oh, 15 years. Oh, you would have rocked years. up? No, no, no. I would not yes. have waited that long. After 15 years, yes. No, I wouldn't have waited 15 years. But we're talking about in the first five to seven years. Oh, so you would have left early. You would have left early. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Okay. So, man. You? I wouldn't wait 15 years. Nah, uh-uh. Because realistically, that's the movie. No, I'm blessing, not missing my blessing. What I'm saying is, you know, she she got a point. Now, the setup of the story, again, it's a movie. They had a house. She's working. But in the real world, we can't do that. In the real world, there's no. bills. You know, you got, yeah, you got to support that dream somehow. So who's paying for those parts? She was. She was, right? I know mm -hmm. she was work. She was going through school. She was going through. Yeah, so she was doing, you know, working all those yeah. long and hours. To be real, at the end of it, he still cut her a check. Yeah, so he did. Girl, she did get happy. paid. Yeah, she you're right. Go be happy. Yeah, you're right. And he she didn't was have crazy. to. But I think what she was saying, if y'all remember, he promised her. Remember, uh, house, she was saying something about the yeah, yeah. high rides or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like that's gonna be you. And he was selling her a dream. And mm -hmm. you can believe, you know, like for instance, selling dreams. I'm gonna marry you. Yeah. You know, right now, you know, we're going through but this, you're going to be my wife. Let's type into that. Okay. He was trash before they got married. He was. He was. So when you know, yeah. you know. And but, like, but like I just it, said, you know, they be knowing. Wasn't he her first? Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. her yeah. first. Yeah, yeah wasn't mm -hmm. it? I just don't think about the story. Like, she liked him. That was her first mm -hmm. encounter with a man. And she sexually. ran that trailer over with her vehicle. Yeah, yeah. she did. And there was yeah. somebody that's, that's very true. I remember that. So, yeah. Like I said. He didn't cheat the old relationship, though. I'm just saying. He was a good brother. No, he was a good brother. Oh, it was like in the beginning? Yeah, no, no. That was that was before the marriage. Yeah, in the marriage. He ain't got no money to take nobody out. Oh, that's wild. That's wild. <laughs> Brothers don't need no bread. Oh, I'll be man. real with you. They you don't need yeah. bread. I was about to say, like, you could oh, be broke man. and get some money. Dang, that potential. <laughs> but but, but, yeah, like I, but, but yeah, in the beginning of the movie, it had already laid him out as a user. You mm -hmm. still marry him. It's just a voluntary decision. I don't care how much time is invested. You're making a conscious decision to yeah. stay. Because okay. I think she loved him. And like I said, I, the potential. She believed that, hey, if I, you know, support him, mm -hmm. 
and do what a woman should do supporting her man, mm -hmm. it's going to happen. Now, realistically, you got men out here who want to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. You know, invest in the mixtape. Nope. You know what I mean? Sacrifice. Or you got a man who want to, you know, do other things. But I believe, like, when I meet a guy... We got Real. too many rappers out here. Just yeah, I mean, know. just I just know that's a, a popular job. I, I mean, know, even I, I see it on Facebook, you know. But um, when you meet someone, like we were talking about the eighty twenty rule, I mm. I didn't quite know what it meant and how you were telling me about the whole Tyler Perry and mm. you know, are you ever going to meet someone like you said that's going to have a check mark of everything you're looking for? So to me, when I meet a guy, I do see potential in him because I know that he's not at his best. But the power of a couple is y'all can get better together if you guys are on one team. That's mm -hmm. how I would look at it. Like, what I lack, you're going to make up for it and vice versa. That's what power couples do. I'm sure when Jay-Z and Beyonce got together, there was things that they didn't have all in order. But mm -hmm. after all these years, like she mm -hmm. said, you know, that's what a power couple does is rock out together. But what was, well, what was Jay-Z already doing? Like, there's one Jay thing to see potential, man. but then there's another thing to see a man actually working at his potential. Yeah. No, you know no, I mean? no, yeah. Like we not we not sitting at home mm -hmm. thirty five forty mixing beats and you're not working. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Yeah. But you can already be a millionaire and have a potential to be, get bigger and better. Yeah. Sure, fine, great. But yeah. I'm not I'm not a supporter of the struggle of and, and that's why she snapped the fuck out at the end. I thought she snapped because she saw this woman who didn't put in all that time. And that's why she, and, and she, she was there she, for the struggle. Right, she, that's right. why she snapped yeah. the fuck out of like, You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even though he cut her a check, so I, I mean, it sounded like she was kind of jealous. You know, nah, like, yeah. you divorced yeah. him, she's seeing this good life. Because remember she went to the penthouse, mm -hmm. and she had her dress on, and mm -hmm. she was like, oh my gosh, you told me, that, you know, and then she came out, and it was the same girl that he had an interview with. So that's a very good um, example you brought up, too. I totally forgot about that movie but there's a, a few movies like that where you know um women and men you know like we could talk about another Tyler Perry movie why did I get married well, yeah. I mean not why I get married uh the diary of a mad black woman when Charles did all that to her cheated on her she's like I could have had kids Charles had it not been for you cheating on me like she had all those uh miscarriages and then mm -hmm. he had the trophy wife and then she leaves him because he got shot and of course uh Shamar Moore comes in with that that struggle wig and mm -hmm. he saves the day and they end up getting married. Wig. <laughs> that Shut wig up. was trash and he is fine. So yeah, these are all movies. But what I'm saying is that you're talking about potential. He saw in hell and how damaged and broken that Charles made her, mm -hmm. and he said, you know what, you're he did. That was shoe on the he, other he, foot. Yeah, kinda, right. Yeah, he potential. took he took on because she was like, nope. She was so gung ho on Charles. What he did to her made her bitter, and yet he saw. How she was as a woman and decided to you know what despite how you talk to me and how you want to give me a chance i'm going to love you until you realize that i'm the better choice for you and they end up getting married no i'm not doing it not with it well, you're not talking like, to me crazy and i'm gonna see no no i'm saying like like how shamar moore i forgot his, the character's name but yeah, how no, he but, saw no, i'm saying yeah. like, oh, okay. if she's talking to him crazy yeah. treating him bad oh i see you're saying and okay. he's still gonna yeah no not doing it okay. not for it no I got a question. Well, do you? I got a question. Mm -hmm. Do you put an emphasis on? Do you have aspirations of being married one day? I have aspirations of being married. One day. I do too. I'm not really. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. It happens. It happens. It don't. It don't. Yeah. Dig it. Okay. Wow. But I do you mean, think? So, wow. I got a question that's, that's now. Powerful. As far as what uh what marriages do you think they would move our community forward? Do you I'm think that's? Here. Do you think marriages would move our community forward? We had because remember we had the discussion that you know. I feel like, you know, it's like like uh, Malcolm X would have said, as far as families is the cornerstone of yeah. nation building. Yeah. So, you know, as far as our families being together, two parent homes, you know, yeah. it generally comes from marriage. It's the reason being is because there's a little bit, a lot of people was talking about, oh, it's just getting the government involved, blah, 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 blah. Well, everything for real, for real is getting the government involved, especially if you're having the kids. Like, that's why so many brothers out here dealing with this you know mm -hmm. with um child support and they just it's, it's it's ugly so either way the government is going to be involved but it's a little yeah. bit extra of a step to keep you from stepping out you know what i'm saying so it's going to keep that family together so i'm asking as far as do you have an emphasis do you think that we need more marriages these days and do you think that by like you said throwing the cat around be old, dress how you want, all that, this, that, and the third, is helping that cause. What does clothing do to you? 
Well, for me, I, I I'll give you I'll give an example. Dang, um, it was a girl that I well, <laughs> did. You to, look away. To basically, to basically answer the question, I'm just before looking. we get derailed from right. my uh, random question. Go ahead. Um, families are amazing. Community is amazing. Um, I think they definitely play their part in moving the culture forward for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'll give you right back. Okay. Well, wow. you, you, you touched on, you touched on, uh, you know, clothing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for me, like you said, like I said, one, I lean on a certain way. And granted, I'm still living in 2019, so I like to see some skin, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, you ain't got to look like no nun when you go out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But there's, I feel like there's a fine line between certain things that you, I feel like a woman, like I should, like as a man, I would tell a woman, yo, don't wear that. You know Why? what I'm saying? Because. 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 They ha- they have so don't, <laughs> because for me it's like it's it's almost it's doing the whole Aisha thing like to where you're putting your value in how other men are seeing you one I mean you know what I'm saying like that's you you're doing this you you put this on you didn't do this so I look sexy in the mirror and then I you know what I'm saying you want validation and that's what Aisha confirmed for us you know what I'm saying when she goes no, that's out what she confirmed for herself for herself Ooh. and a lot a lot of women a lot of women mm. want validation they're not dressing a certain way. I, I can get with that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to blanket that across all women. I hear you, but I'm saying that a lot of women want eyes. Like, like, and I'll say as men, we want eyes. That's why men go to the gym. Okay. We all, we, everybody oh, not, has not a, to get in shape for you, for health reasons? Well, health reasons as well, but you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, we got, you like, like to be desired. You okay. know what I'm saying? Excuse me, all of that. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, really? Excuse I'm, I'm going to have to edit that out. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to <laughs> But yeah. no, 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 no. But, but for real, for real. Like, uh, but you know, you, you're seeking, the, you're seeking the look. So, I mean, something that I, that Shorty was wearing when I was talking to her was, uh, it was just plain old simple, like, yo, come get me. And it was like, it was like, well, is that, is that what your goal is when you're going out? No, I'm just wearing, I was like, but that's what your outfit says. Dave Chappelle has a joke. He said that, um, you know, a woman dressed, you know, like I said, this was back in the early 2000s when folks wasn't sensitive about stuff. But he was like, yo, Shorty was dressed in a certain way that was very promiscuous. So he came up to him and was trying to, you know, and he was like, but halfway out the skirt. And she was like, and he was like, yo, you know, what's up? Like, what you trying to do? And she was like, whoa. I'm not just because I'm dressed this way mm-hmm. doesn't mean you can approach me like that. Right. He made the joke that if he was wearing a police uniform and walking down <laughs> the street, so people they were stupid. Him. And people were probably <laughs> yeah. was like, whoa, just yeah. because I'm wearing this. Yeah. But I mean, like, does oh that, I mean, like, I think comedy is like one yeah. of the biggest, the best truths ever. The approach to a police officer wouldn't be anywhere near the same approach to a woman who's wearing Oh, it was, yeah. but it was. A, so it was that a, is a don't don't nah. don't 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 miss the point. Nah, because no, you know, you're, you're gonna it's, approach it's a satire. police officer with what? It's with satire. Respect. No, 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 no. He was coming. So, he was coming frantic. That's very true. Satire. Yeah. Point mm-hmm. is. Oh, it's satire now. Satire. <laughs> yeah. Point yeah. is, Ooh. what's the name that it Y'all. was about her job, right? Y'all. As far Tell as the way that she was dressed. So, but I mean, that's what's being presented. The way that she's dressed presents a message. What message? According to who? According, according to, to according to standards society, of society. society, yeah, okay. Like so, so we're like so it's like we're it's like you know what the standards is of society yet we're trying to change and normalize, I guess. Individuality. Like if you want to call it that, if you want to call it that, I mean, like I said, I feel like when I have a standard, you know, what I'm saying like or basis that you know I'm coming from, it feels like we're moving further and further away from that, hmm. which I think on the world is. Period. But moving further away from what? So you, we have we must make sure that we keep in in the forefront of the brains when we have these conversations, like what mm. all this stuff is rooted in in the first place. The book. What book? book? The Bible. Oh, okay. Well, I was like, it could be in uh, the Holy. Uh, what is the Holy Quran? I mean, well, I, don't know I mean, what book. No, definitely. The yeah. Bible. So but, I want to just but my, clarify. Even if, like I said, we're in 2019. So if we're going off of the Bible, then women were property, which is how women are still being seen, which is why we made the comment to the girl you was talking to, not that you would call her your property, well, but no, if she's out... property, but it's more so a mm. partner. No, it don't, mm. there ain't no verse that says yeah. property in there. Yeah, I mean, you gotta explain ain't that no, to me. Yeah, because I'm like, I, I, no, I, okay, no let's look up marriage. I mean, because I know a woman is supposed two to becomes one. her husband. That's yeah, what the Bible says, one. because the man is the and head of the household, same and Christ thing. is the over everyone, mm-hmm. the body of the church. And so, your body doesn't, yeah, women, even as a man, yeah, your body doesn't belong to. to you. It belongs to, to the, Christ. To the, no, no, to the to the woman as well. Like, no, it's saying wait, 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 that wait, wait, when wait. you're married, 
that you're okay. both like it was basically saying that what's the, I, if I'm in so I, excuse me for not quoting it correctly but that your body doesn't belong to just you it belongs to your wife as well oh well you guys are one the yeah, God, one. God defines mm -hmm. marriage as one you guys are uh, two souls that connect as one and the Bible says that the man is the head of the household but we're being a woman is supposed to submit to her husband uh -huh. that's what the Bible says but we're I, being we're being derailed anyway because okay. my, my whole point my yeah. whole point was Sorry. just the fact no no you're good no, no, you know, we, we could do yeah, a whole episode on that but, uh, but, I'm, but I'm saying but, but the, the, the gaze is still from although people People may not be in churches or any religious affiliation mm -hmm. the gaze is still from as you said from the Bible mm -hmm. and in the Bible women weren't shit unless they had a man by their side if the if the if the husband dies she needs to marry a brother or something to be covered and protected but it also says that a man wasn't shit if she he wasn't with a woman it said is what we weren't meant to be alone it says that mm -hmm. it's, it's a scripture on that so mm -hmm. I don't you know it wasn't I, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, it wasn't a one-way street that's you're right I'm yeah I understand I understand it wasn't a one-way street mm -hmm. you and I understand it wasn't a one-way street a lot of people but people who stand on those to use those scriptures against women but see, don't talk about the additional yeah scriptures I was about to the say there's priest you got a priest that it you got but but we talked mm -hmm. about that mm -hmm. but I told you that's a whole breakdown of of, of you know the black church and the way we mm -hmm. can move forward you know shalom but you know anyway but like i said as far as where the nation building as far as promiscuity in the way that we dress mm -hmm. that's not i don't think you should be doing that if you're going well, uh, so i know what you're about to say you know what i'm saying so i mean there's there's like okay so there's two sides you're going to look at this so a woman can dress like that and i mean i'll give you an example i have large breasts I make it a point when I go out not to show a lot of cleavage because people stare at me, kids, you know, I've had women cover their children's eyes because they, Dang. you know what I mean? No, I'm serious. No, I'm being honest with you. And I, and I don't show cleavage, you know, even wearing this, you see how, you know, it's a good bra. But if we're going to sit here and talk about women, how we're judged for what, how we dress, then does it give it a right for a man to have a Trayvon Martin look, you know, the little do-rag, you know, you got on a hoodie, now you label it as a thug? It can go both ways, right? <laughs> Is it okay for us to judge a man like that? Like, oh, he's a thug. Oh, he, he has cornrows. He has a throwback jersey on. But, but when you pose it to men, it's gonna be it's gonna be different. That's different. Just like the police officer uniform was different all of a sudden. It's not different. It's not different. <laughs> it's not different. I mean, because I mean, brother should pull their pants. It's not different. So I mean, I no. Yeah, that. I mean, there's, I mean, but I understand what you're saying. You know, like and do brothers should be able to wear a hoodie because they right, feel like yeah, it. Yeah, right. Yeah, and, yeah, and not be profiled. Not be profiled. And women should be able to wear what they want without being profiled. I mean, I, I, I will say this. Right, I will say this. You can't be, I mean, you can't be wearing a hoodie in a suburban. I can wear a hoodie. hoodie. Yeah. You, you should just do what the cop says, and you See, wouldn't be wild. dead in the street. That's I wild. mean, as far as attire, like how? <laughs> I mean, it's it's about when you go out, you know, presenting yourself. You know, I wouldn't like, you know, there's some women walking around who got nice implants, no bra on, sheer, mm -hmm. your nipples are out, and there's certain things you shouldn't wear out in public i mean i understand what, what you're saying and i understand what you're saying mm -hmm. i wouldn't do it personally it is going to cause unwanted attention not just from men but mm -hmm. from women it, it, you know people are going to stare at you and then assume whenever they want like oh she must want attention and that's she's what, dressed and that's what wearing i'm saying panties, if you, you know, know if it know if, if you know it's going to get a certain amount of attention and you do it anyway isn't that and then here's the thing and then here's the thing you what what yeah that attention well then here's the thing too some men you know women right. get raped like that like not no shade it's not women good. get raped you know they're seeing a man desires them and then they catch them they by know. themselves and you know, they end up getting sexually harassed or so broke. The solution and it's not is right. for women to do more covering. No, 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 it's not, not right. No, 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 children. no, no, it's not right at all on it's, both sides. What I'm saying is that you out. know, you know, there's a um, <laughs> for every action, there's a reaction. So yeah. if I choose to go outside, you know, with my breast hanging to go out, outside with your breast hanging right. out, you do not deserve to get raped. You're right. I'm not saying I deserve to get raped. What I'm saying is that would I be shocked if men like, oh damn, mom, what size are those? Oh, can I suck on them? You can, you, you damn well can be shocked. You can be shocked. Oh, I wouldn't can, be shocked. Yes, because I, I know that's what's going to happen. Is it, it far-fetched to now. believe that men would have manners? It, but so are but you your saying, titties is out, baby. Your point? Yeah, I'm saying I'm looking at I'm looking at your titties like so I'm you like, gonna tell her that she walk out. Yeah, but I'm like, yeah, damn. I'm like, no, I ain't gonna. I'm like, I'm like, sure, you know, your titties is out, right? Yeah, right now. No, 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 no. You can't. No, baby, listen. Yeah. No, but I would say right now. I would say that, but I mean. As far as me, one, I have Stop in traffic. You know there's been car accidents, girls walking across the street? Yeah. And bam, he hits something because he's staring at her. So I understand. There's I'm a not, lot of... 
there's a lot of attention that a woman you will go, get you if you get walk out when you might, dress down. I, I might mean, be rolling me. by. I might break my neck, and then now I'm in a fender bender so because of the girl. That's her fault. That's her fault. No, that's your fault. No, she walked around with titties out. No, no, no. Who's driving the car? No, that's nonsense. She's not driving the car. No, I'm saying that we know. We we know. We know certain dress get gonna get garner a certain attention. Sure, we can agree on that. Right? Sure. So yeah. if you if you know that this attention is coming and you do it anyway, how are you not saying you want that attention? I mean, you can question. wear what I don't know. That's a, a hard one. An article of clothing is not gonna mm -hmm. should not dictate. Well don't they have a law um uh public uh indecency? They get sure. you get a ticket for that? So I imagine if a cop saw you walk around and it's like new, you can't get arrested for it or get a ticket or sure. a citation. Mm -hmm. So there is a problem there because if you're breaking the law, if you're getting a ticket or a citation for something like that, would you not agree? If someone was that offended where you're walking around in a public setting where there's kids we're and talking, family, we're talking we're about talking about yeah. window sure. seat. Oh we're my God! Her being naked. Yeah, yeah, that, that was yeah, that was a full that. set. Yeah. Shout out to Auntie Badu. Yeah, I mean, I think there's there's a there's a fine line between being sexy and then being trashy. It's not. I'm not saying it's okay for not okay for women to show cleavage, but to walk around with no bra on and it's sheer and people can see your breasts and your nipples. The free the nipple a, yeah. thing was getting moved. Was I mean, but then waves. again, that's that what. Was... But that's what Ambrose was saying. You saw her slut walk. Women walk around topless, and I think in New York, did they pass that law where women could walk around topless? Nah, I doubt that. There was a lot. Oh, okay. No, I saw. The city as well, but I don't okay, think yeah. I don't know. That. I could have, you know, so, I mean, just like. like Why is it so important for women to be bound by what they wear? Why do men care so much? Because we care. Because we, we're built that way. We're built. We're, 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 we're built like, let's, we are built mm -hmm. oh, to be attracted. You know what I'm saying to women. One, sure. I mean, for the most. Are you oh, built okay. to be disrespectful? Are you built no, to be no, oh, no, you, you open no. A but if I'm rolling down the street that's and Shorty you, got a titties now, like, you know, like no, 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 you die, you die. Then. Nah, that's out of pocket. That's no, wild. That's not that's wild. wild. That's wild. I'm right. just saying. I'm no. That's that's. So then it'd be kind of crazy if a uh, a woman was driving a car and you walked around with no shirt on, baby oil, and I. But men walk around with no shirts on all the that's time. That's what I'm saying. I, you ever had a woman cat call you, try to grab you, and and, and do nothing like that? <laughs> so I'm, being, I'm being serious. You got your guns out right now. You ever had a woman try to like? And then nobody touched you. And, and they're like, yeah, they want to touch. But I'm like, hey, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> but I mean, For real, no, one, you know, no, no. Man, no, no woman has tried, right? Like, yeah, no, yeah, 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 nothing like yeah. that. Yeah, my you're ass in the club. Damn, shorty ass is fat. Damn, damn. I mean, you I mean, let's let's not get it twisted. Brothers definitely need to have more respect as far mm -hmm. as for our women. I mean, we definitely need Thank to do a better job. I, I would, yeah, and we then do, when you turn them down, fuck but, you, then, bitch. No, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, brothers, yeah, so, yeah, a, yeah, yeah there's, anyway. there's a lot of brothers that was that's out here bugging. You know what I'm saying on the way that we treat right. our women. You know, especially yeah, women and the insult had nothing to do with what she was wearing. No, and so, usually, yeah, generally, generally, I mean, like, and she could be dressed properly. That could be the culture. Like yeah. uh, the culture it too, like rap music and and it what is. and and like okay, muscle, yeah. so like put it like this: the women on the internet, the women who have a platform, how are they dressed? How are they? How do they present themselves for those people to yeah, follow them? For them to get views, for them to get sponsorships, for them to get likes, how are they presenting themselves? Sure, who's winning? Who's who's leading the, the charge as far as in women hip hop right now? I mean, what like, do you mean? Oh, 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 Cardi, of course. I mean, like, it's, but Cardi and, and Nicki, they both have a similar look. The only difference it's is their the ethnicity. Same thing. That's why they I mean, they got they got small waist, fake breasts, fake ass. Yo, yo, quit trying to stop. Stop trying to like people. Y'all be trying to cut off Cardi. Cardi is a sister. No, right? no, Cardi. Yo, she's a sister. What's what's she's Whoa, she's she what's saying, she's, she's, a she's black. Sister? She's okay. All right. Oh, she doesn't even identify as black. She does. No, she does not. No, she's she Puerto Rican, right? She Dominican. Jesus. Either way, both of those is black. So okay. Oh, Lord. It is what it is. Right. They erase those people's culture like. Well, you really you can't. Her it's mom, another boat stop. Yeah. They got well, off. They got off on a. They got off on a on a boat but stop. It was a little bit if, sooner. If 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 Cardi B or Nicki Minaj was dressing like Queen Latifah, y'all remember Queen Latifah? Right. U N I T Y. <laughs> would they have a platform? No. Female rappers. I mean, we're going. Let's go back. But I mean, let's but go back to Kim. Y'all remember? Y'all remember? Yeah, remember Kim the poster, started it. Legs open with the the leopard bikini. Like that's the Kim I remember. The girl, you know, Brooklyn girl. Mm -hmm. Now I don't recognize Kim. I don't know who that is. Yeah. I don't know who that is. But what I'm saying is that the women that are on a platform are women who present themselves as sexy. I, I don't know. Sometimes there's a fine line. Who dictates that? You think it's women that's ahead of these women? 
No, it's probably them. They know in order to appease their fans, in order to get paid, or, you know what I mean? Men are dictating what they're doing. You think men are dictating? Absolutely. And then if in the same breath, we'll have an issue with it. So, fuck that man. So, some of them, I, I don't think, like the Kardashian, I think it's it's Kris Jenner. Mm. Chris Jenner, she's, she's oh, a Chris, Chris she's is a running, manager. Chris is running that, yeah, but, but I know what you're saying that. as far yeah. as with, I know, with, I know what with labels that, yeah. and everything with, with music labels. Oh, yeah, labels well, yeah. That's, you got to, yeah. That's it was different. like, like what, they what, did what, in the what, movie, what, it'll take that, take that off, you know what I'm saying? Show because a little if we're more. talking yeah. about your independent artists yeah. that are unsigned or doing their own thing, whatever, and they can dress how they want, they're not dressing in the same way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At all. But since they're choosing not to dress in the same manner, they're not going to get the same commercial. Okay, so and not women even, aren't making no decisions. Okay, so not even talking about artists. Let's talk about Instagram models or women who are not even like uh, yeah, Instagram models. The women that who post Sex pictures, circles. you know, like those women mm-hmm. with good photos. They get sponsorships, Fashion Nova mm-hmm. or someone else. Like, hey, just just advertise this right. again. How do they present themselves? Like this guy told me. This guy was like, listen, he follows pages of women with large breasts. They get they got thousands of followers. He said you can do what they're doing. Every picture is her breast. Breast in the afternoon, breast we're eating a sandwich. All she's showing is her breast, and she got over half a million of followers. So you mm-hmm. know how much money? No, I'm being dead I know, I know, I'm That's what he told me. He said, he showed man. me mm-hmm. these women, someone is following them. I'm like, that's all she is doing is showing cleavage in different forms. Cleavage in the bag, and working who, who out. Who are her followers? They're men. Some women oh, who so are busty and BBW. Quick segue now, just because we, because we don't think we got to touch on it. Toxic masculinity. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I guess that, uh, okay. that, you know, that, that actually <laughs> yeah. kind of gets on it. Now, so my, from my perspective, right, I don't like it per se, because one, I understand what the definition is. It's them brothers, the gas station and won't let shorty go pay at the pump. You know what I'm saying? Before she comes back and she's getting harassed and then she's getting cussed out. You know, it's the and brother. a t-shirt, jeans, and some flip-flops. And some right? t-shirt, jeans, and some flip-flops. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter what she was wearing. No, yeah. I, I dig that. I dig that. <laughs> right? But I don't, but I think, I don't like the negative connotation that they're putting on masculinity because I feel that less and less men are masculine these days. And I don't even think those are masculine traits. You know, I'm honestly, I think, you know, we, we were operating a lot off of, you know, emotion, which I think is because of single mother homes. You know, and that, or, we're catching well, that. Mother, how about father not being at home too? Yeah, no, I mean, it, that's, it what, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so father not being mother, yeah. and I look at it, a parent or a child needs both parents. That's why God. That's yeah, why yeah. for you to get here, all of us get here. It took a man and a woman. Right. And two women can't have a baby. Two men can't have a baby. That's why God made Adam and Eve. So. Yeah. So like I said, so basically, I, I feel like men is operating a lot on emotion, so it's not doing it properly. But as far as like toxic masculinity, I don't like the term just because I feel like there's almost an attack on masculinity nowadays. Mm-hmm. And, you know, even when in our media with, you know, everything as far as pushing like a lot of brothers that's not, that, that identify as heterosexual, but are wearing like dresses and like doing certain things that oh, wouldn't be considered masculine mm-hmm. and that's it's a it's an age old tell we've been doing this since the 90s mm-hmm. but i mean um but i don't just don't like that term as far as what do you feel about toxic masculinity well, yeah. of course i don't like it yeah but um, what, do you, what do you define it as i def- i definitely define it as somebody who's emotionally intelligent um intelligent intel yeah Unintelligent. Unintelligent. Sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say like, wait, hold on, wait a minute. I was like, hey. um, who's emotionally unaware mm-hmm. um, of who he is in his body, in in himself. Um, I don't think it's attributed to single parent homes because a lot of trash ass dudes are married and beat their fucking wives every day. You got a toxic masculine son. So um, I don't think it has anything to do with the. Um, parental situation, I do think it has everything to do with at the time when boys become men, a level of self reflection and, and a, a, a mentor or, or an actual manly figure isn't there to like help guide that path. But that's, so it starts that, in a home. That, that, that would, I was just about that's to cool. say, like, so you, it just, starts in a home. you just, sure. you know, I think if we but had. But you got, if, if it's a single mother home, you have uncles, you got brothers, you got cousins. Yeah, that's very true. It, it doesn't yeah. matter. It, it, I yeah. Mean, yeah, you you find it, you're going to find it. But I mean, like, shoot, that's why a lot of brothers is in the streets, because I mean, a lot of times, it, you know, that they 
a but lot if your of father is trash but, and he's still married to your mama, does that make it a, a successful two parent household? No, but no, but I feel like if we if we had to take the odds of you know, and I and I said this to somebody who anybody who argues against two parent homes or trying to say, well, you know, well it could be go bad that way. If we're gonna take the odds, if you're gonna say like, hey, all right, eighty percent is gonna be one and twenty percent is gonna be the other. Would you take eighty percent single mother home, or would you take the eighty percent? I'm not saying home? that it's. It, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. Right. What I'm saying is, I think people put um, too much emphasis. Too much emphasis on two parent households without knowing the dynamics of that household. I'm saying that it can be bad, it but like you toxic. said, it can be toxic. Yeah. yeah but yep. but like you said, men are not being raised. We're we're not being raised the way men should be like I said sure. and um you know like I felt like just like you, I said as far as with our relationship I said this to you that if men got our stuff together y'all would fall right on in line sure. and I mean that as far as like you said to me you told me it was like there's no heterosexual woman you know black woman especially that doesn't want to you know submit to a man that has his stuff together who's emotionally intelligent who is a leader, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, that, you know, is those things that is a masculine man. But I don't think we, like you said, we got, we're not learning those things. If this cycle of, you know, that toxic man probably could have came, that's in a two-parent home, it's probably trying to break the cycle because he wasn't in a two-parent home. Sure. So, like, if they continue, at least the grandchildren may be better if they continue the two-parent home. So, I mean, like, we have to start... Mm -hmm. that that mission in order for it to build and keep that consistency for mm -hmm. it to happen but but this is with the hope and prayer that these are two healthy people in a marriage right. having children and that's what's <laughs> and that's and that's what's important first that's what, and that's what that's what yeah, yeah that's what i think we uh you know as far as like with all those different roles and we can honestly talk about this you know, all day long mm -hmm. but i think we had a pretty good show here today what you think yeah it, that was a good show i mean yeah there's a lot of stuff we can touch on i mean we even talk about like your stance on gender roles you know we were saying like maybe you don't you don't believe like what you said about like a, a two-parent household i mean it's not a full proof you know but i i think a solid foundation is where it starts because um even my sister was saying something like uh with 50 cent how 50 Cent, like, how he is with women. If you notice how he treat, well, he's a lot aggressive with women than he is with men. Like, mm -hmm. I know he's oh. been feuding with Ja Rule, but the way he's, like, treating Tierra Marie and, oh. how, and how he, you know, he posted her sex tape. I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, 50 ain't no punk. I don't know anymore. Well, I'm not like, saying he's a was, punk, I, but I'm the way he, he harasses, like, okay. Anybody so, get that smoke, I think. Well, I, I wouldn't say he's anyone, because he, he even, to his baby mothers, you know, he's been, you know. Yeah, no, there's, no, there's no, alleged, just, yeah, that's what so I'm saying. So he hasn't laid a hand on Ja Rule. He's bullied Ja Rule, but as far as hitting a woman, that tells you what kind of man he is. If a man can hit a woman, but you haven't even hit Ja Rule, you had plenty of opportunities. There are so many people that I mean, you, you in an argument with. We don't know what's, what's happening. By well, I mean. I, I hear what you're saying. Oh, well, these are things that, these are, I mean, the thing is, you know, Tierra Marie sued him because when that sex tape leaked, he reposted it. And you know, in California, there's what revenge porn because Black China tried to sue uh, Rob Kardashian for that. Because remember, Gloria Alves was uh, representing her. So what she's saying is that you as a man, why would you even repost that that's like harmful to me? Like you're spreading a bad image of me mm -hmm. that my ex did. Mm -hmm. And he's been harassing her. She had that shirt that says, I ain't got it. I think he got it copyrighted. Like, yeah. but, but hold on, but I thought we was talking about gender roles. No, mean? no, I'm just saying like the toxic masculinity, like how 50 Cent is with women. Right. How he treats his baby mothers. Right. You know, how they allege Those that he has, he has hit them. Mm -hmm. This is what, I'm not saying that this is what top, they're that, saying. That's part his of first baby mother, that's why his son, his son denounces him, his older son. That looks just like him. No, nah, they denounce each other. Cause, uh, oh, okay. Well, I know yeah. he said it. So what I'm saying is, it's you know, like when I think of that, I, I look at him and like, I'm not saying he's angry, but, you know, he's superior. You know, uh, he has power. And to, for women, it's like he's so quick to call a woman a bitch or a hoe or, you know, talk about you know, her past or her mistakes. But when it comes to men, you know, he is aggressive, but he doesn't go that hard. He's never, you know, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think he's ever talked about I don't know. He called. He he made whole disc records on that man. So I can't yeah, say. Yeah, I mean, that. But yeah, but I'm was, saying like it was more so like what you was talking about when you started with the with the gender roles and everything. As far as 
how the dynamic of the family should work? Do you feel like, you know, those exist? Do you think those are obsolete in our time frame? You know what I mean? Especially things that unchanged a lot, as far as a lot more women is going. Like, I was told by my stepfather. He told me, he was like, listen, like, you own, you coming into a time where a woman may make more money than you, and you have to be okay with that. And you know what I'm saying? It don't make you no less of a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, as long as you're still providing, you're still handling your business, you're good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Continue to do your roles of what you feel like a man should be providing the house as much as I can, you know, as, as you're supposed to, as you. Right. But if a woman makes more than you, you know, that's a great teammate. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of, you know, separation of because of that, you know, with, and I, and I call it the feminization of the black man while the, the woman got more masculine. Because y'all had to pick up the ball and keep it, keep it pushing mm -hmm. while we were under attack, you know, all the way from, you know, welfare or the man couldn't be in the home, the industrialization of inner city communities, what's the name, pumping the drugs in the community, so now there's no jobs, so now you want drugs. So, man, we started this cycle mm -hmm. of being under attack, whereas women kind of just kept riding. And even my, uh, I flipped out I, in the group chat, it was, um, it was when I'm tired of seeing black women get attacked and brothers is videotaping, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I just I just saw one of my bro, uh, my older brothers uh, posted a video of this young black girl. It, it was at an amusement park where Shorty was getting ch uh, choked up by the police officer. Right. Mm -hmm. When I tell you that another black girl started swinging on him, like on the cop and wasn't it and was and was riding and she and she getting up here pushing somebody mm -hmm. came and another sister came and grabbed her and I was like yo our sisters is more dang warriors than we is right now right. and I, I, this is such an attack on us that that's that's why I don't like that toxic masculinity I know what it's I know what it's gearing towards mm -hmm. but because I feel like it's wrapping in all everything you know what I'm saying so um yeah, I got off on my, my bad. I went all the way over here. But as far as gender roles, yeah. I think couples, married folk, whatever, should work to ensure that they figure out what works for them. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to work for work um, and do the cookie cutter thing. Okay. Because your wife may be a trash ass cook, and the husband may be a, an amazing <laughs> cook. So why are we trying to uphold this standard if this is not our thing? Because right. women, women are taught, and I had a conversation about this, a man will not marry a woman, or not all men, if she don't know how to yeah. cook. Plenty of women that, I know yeah. can't cook for shit. And that's why I, I say, know, right, I know, and they're like, that's probably that, why you're not married, that's cook. what they would say, because like, you can't nah, cook. Because, you know, they were taught that the way to a man's heart is through where? Stomach. His stomach. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I have right. too. Or his yeah. penis, so <laughs> whichever way you want to go. I mean, in in my dating experience, Maybe I wear my <laughs> my stance on life on my fucking forehead, and I'm okay with that. Um, I have definitely been cooked for, Me and too. they're just like, don't, yeah, uh, don't, come, don't come in my kitchen. We good, right. like, yeah. And they and they take care of the whole entire thing, yeah. and I don't have to lift a finger. And so there are men. I don't know if this is a bit of encouragement. Shout out to the male cooks, to, to women out there, but there are men who understand that you know. Gender roles sounds good, mm -hmm. but that ain't really how life works. You so, make you make it home before me. You gonna yeah. really wait until I get off some late and work will. to eat? Some That's men, right. some That's men crazy. will. I know, yeah. but I, that I, don't make sense. Sorry, I make more money. Yeah. Uh, you make more money than me, but you want me to pay half? You make fifty percent more than me. Why, what am I paying half on? That's that is that's not even a good percentage of. If I was living by myself, to which, what, my, what I paid my which bills, I'm, I'm not a fan. It doesn't of make sense. Either, either like a lot of times, like a lot of brothers out here would like go out on a date and be like, "Yeah, let's go Dutch." No, or, you know what I'm saying? That. Like, no, like nigga, pay, pay for I mean, real, I, I bro. Paid, like, I paid for I mean, a guy to go on a date with me. I know some women real. don't. Some women don't do that. Now she might say, "You don't do that," nope. but it's like I enjoy your company as much as you enjoy my company. Why not? Because it's a lot was of pressure on the Was that on the, on the first guy. one, though? Yeah, on the first date. Oh, I said, shit, I got wow. this. Oh, as a matter of fact, uh, brother, let me just put this out here. When we well, had, hold on, hold on. That, that don't count, though. That, well, that wait, one don't we count. Power, but I asked. I asked. I, I was said, like, wait, let me get it. But I, I was invited, like, no, I like, let me get it. Yes, but I said, let me get it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm just, no, I'm just saying, like, like I, I was, that's the kind of person I am. I will pay for a guy. Because I look at it like this. I enjoy your company as much as you enjoy my company. And now, if it's a trash date, if it's no chemistry, we're going Dutch. Like, uh, listen, I'm trying to get up out of here. 
but I don't man, mind paying thing for a man. Should just pay for the food, like yo. At yeah. the end of the day, I like, personally I, don't. I'm, I'm not a fan, like because we don't. We, yeah, don't but grab we're not my living bill, by. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, gender roles. We that's not that's not see, the era we live in. But that's like I, she just said. Oh man, you know, my oh man, my family. Make I'm not sure saying that, you, you do know. what works for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, she may not I'm gonna do be it. a man, like at the end nah. of the day. I so, after after some level of um, interest has been established, then mm-hmm. sure, I don't mind planning a date, surprising, yeah. paying for a dinner or something but like be, that. But guys, that's what I'm saying. It, it surprises a man. Rip, no. Like you ever had a girl pay for you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it it's, was, it's, it's, it's like it's, like, wow, it's a rush. It's like oh, hold on, like you show it, like every. And she loves. Oh, I got. I love. That's it's sexy. It's sexy. It's uh, you yeah. know. It's beautiful to see that. And that's it's, and that's something that, that you mm. like. We see nowadays. That's the evolve, evolving of you know the times and everything. All of that's all well and good. But at the end of the day, I'm I, not I'm saying that women first. can't do it. Yeah. I just wouldn't recommend it starting out the gate. Oh yeah, not out the gate at all. And if and I, I think it's a bad sign to keep it being with you if he about that. You know, out the rip. I just he ain't hearing it. He ain't it. Cause men ain't. That's, it's not men ain't rap like that. That's like not, exactly. See, they but, can they. That's new. You start off paying. These roles. Sister, is, be prepared to keep paying, keep pulling that weight. Mm. Not oh, interested. I would make it very clear. That's yeah. terrible. In my mm. case, I mean, I don't know. Not that could be a setup. But then again, a man, like you said, a man with the Aisha say, Curry thing. Like mm-hmm. if 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 Stefan was starting off uh, complimenting and all that stuff, and then it fall by the wayside, then it's like you got to keep it up. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested it's in, in starting starting that level of. Of uh, that kind of like that. But, that's what you're saying, off but, like, but yeah. women, women can do the same <laughs> that's not thing. Be the uh, so, so one could say, "Well, you've been paying for me. Why I gotta pay?" That's mm-hmm. facts too. It's so it goes both ways. So it can go. It can happen both ways. But, like, then, I get, but then I you start get used to a certain, what, you know. Yeah, you absolutely. see it. You, start you know, like to see the first, Okay, how about this? First day, you take me to a really five star restaurant. Second day, it's Applebee's. Oh well, uh, uh-uh, baby, I don't do anything under three stars. That's why you gotta go Applebee's first. You gotta well, he was no. bougie. Right. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. So, you know, so, you I, try, so I, do, I try to break so that. Applebee's, you yeah. it's it. bullshit. You gotta go Applebee's uh, like, first. People, uh, people can get off on this representative mm-hmm. shit, but people are who they are when you meet them. When you took her to that five-star restaurant. Oh, five oh you're talking about the, rep- uh, the representative? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The, the Chris so Rock. When, uh, when, when mm-hmm. he took her, in, in, from your example, yeah. when he took her to that five-star restaurant, she was already dropping hints that that's what she want to be, mm-hmm. that that's where she want to go. You looked at your bank account, you was like, oh, I'm going to pull it. I'm about to pull this because that's what I want. Mm-hmm. Brother, if and you can't afford you, it, you, you, don't bank, it. you need to uh, date according to your bank account. Dang, dang if you lane, ain't got baby. it, you ain't got it. You should dang get it. Yeah. Applebee's is your thing. Right. Cool. I then move up. I was yeah. about to say, even if you can afford that yeah. five-star, nah. you go Applebee's Dudes first. Dudes be putting uh, themselves in that rut. I'm not yeah, I was about to say, yeah, okay. go Applebee's first. See what she deserves. If she cool, all right, back. I love Applebee's. I mean, Applebee's what's wrong with 2 for 20? You probably won't. She ain't doing it. What you going to do for 20? I don't know. Yeah. All right, back. Yeah, See, let's go. Yeah. We go eat. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's that's a good example because I know women. Uh, it can be the same thing. They're used to a man like he bought me flowers. You know, this on the first date, and then after a while, those dates get real cheap. Now you at McDonald's. Yeah, you have the mean. value that's menu. Stay, stay off that poison. <laughs> at the value mm-hmm. menu, like damn, what happened, baby? Nah, Just but two see, weeks ago. But this, all of that stuff gets cultivated in actually having yeah. conversation and communication, communication with the partner. Is there is no going yeah. from Ruth's Chris. So yeah. all of a sudden going all all the time to Applebee's. Yeah. Right. No. Right. Like that's true. No. Oh my gosh, that's no. so hilarious. It, 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 it people drop hints and clues as to who they are yeah. all the time. Now whether you try to see the potential. Right. Oh, is that is that shade? No, <laughs> it's no. Every t- no. Lots of women think that they can bank on potential, but they be. But he took me to Bruce Chris one time. Maybe. maybe he'll do it again. Nah, babe. Nah, babe. You gotta have some kind of potential. So then, when you meet someone, what are you going? What are you uh, basing your checklist on? Like, what are you saying? You're like, they gotta have everything. No, absolutely. So there's potential, right? Eighty twenty. There's a potential that this person is gonna be good for well, you. No, 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 no. I already, I already, I already gave my definition of what kind of potential yeah. I would go for. Like, yeah. are you working? Yeah, are you working towards, towards your right. own That's potential? That's what I'm saying. Not someone who is Without like I'm homeless and it's like okay. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that, you know, there's women out here that will say, well, you're going to lower your standards if you date someone that doesn't meet your qualifications. So here's, here's so, what I'm saying. If I meet somebody who's a business owner. Okay. And he's like, dang, like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but I can't crack this marketing advertising thing. You already got a business that's going. Right. So could if we're in a relationship. Yeah. Because we're not doing, I'm not doing the emotional toiling as a, a, a buddy. Not definitely not a fuck buddy. We don't. I'm not investing in your shit. Okay. 
Um, I may can direct you to somebody, okay. but I'm not. Cake and go love. I'm not doing okay. it. I'm <laughs> sorry. I hear you. Okay. Um, so she wants no. I ain't, lost no I ain't lost no sleep at night. Okay. But a lot of women get emotionally involved by what they've invested. That's very too true. Too soon. Yeah, that's true. Not, without knowing what his level of investment was back right. to you. So now your car breaks down or some shit, and you're like, oh, damn, that's fucked up. I'll pray for you. <laughs> yeah. he, ain't got, he has no resources yeah. to give back yeah, to you. He ain't no fucking mechanic. He can't come and fix it. He ain't got no homeboy that can come and fix it. But you didn't just wrote up his whole marketing plan for his business. Mm-mm. So you're saying it's a, Without, it should be even level playing field. Absolutely. So it should be both ends. Within in. okay. a relationship, a, a okay. committed, whatever committed is to y'all okay. relationship. To, to your personal level, whatever, you know, whatever the two agree upon. Mm. But no, okay. we're not... I don't advocate for any woman to invest too soon into somebody who who don't know what the hell they got going on. Well, no, like we yeah. become exclusive and we yeah. do, and we doing this thing. We've been kicking it, you know, for however long we decide. And you're like, dang, Ed, like you really dope at this. Like I need some help with this. Mm-hmm. And I've seen over the time of us dating that you're actually out here trying to get your shit. Not a problem. But after a date or two. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. definitely. definitely. Okay. Firstly, I think unless that's how we met, like we met at a marketing advertising conference. I'm just using an example. Okay. If we met in that context, like, yo, what's that? What's that connect that you was talking to? Whatever. Okay. But me working on your shit. Yeah. And I have no like for free. Yeah. Okay. So investing time and money and effort. I see what you're saying. Okay. Huh. So yeah. So you're saying don't invest your emotion in somebody who ain't about shit. Message. Well, I need to listen because I will do it, and that's probably why I end up in some of the situations I end up in because I believe in you. I believe a powerful woman can change a man or a woman. Like for instance, you might I can meet a man. Maybe he hasn't had a woman motivate him. Like maybe he was in the streets. I'm like, listen, let's do your resume. Let's get you a job. Let's try to better your life. Uh, you that's, say, a, that's a mama. Well, it's not trying no, to be a mama. It's it's sad. like we it all need mama. help. Yeah, that's a mama. No. Sure, we all need help. But not that kind. Like that motivation. Man, you should know. You should got. Like you know, like together, I mean, brother. you think Coretta Scott didn't motivate Martin Luther King? Yeah, but Martin was she, still Martin. I know, but I'm pretty sure she motivated so, him too. Oh yeah, She was absolutely. out there, you know, motivating like you're gonna get through well, this. Well, gonna, they were already married. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the beginning. Uh, Martin, before they got married. Uh, in the beginning stage, like Barack Obama. So when Michelle, before he got married, he Michelle, wasn't interested in, in, in doing what he was yeah, put I up was on the platform. Michelle, was, Michelle, was, Michelle was, built, uh, built, built some barriers. Are we talking about like Marlon or, 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 or Barack? Barack. Because I remember Barack, he credited his, he credited his wife Oh, yeah. As his motivator Michelle saying, you are going to write. So, again, my point. A but powerful he was woman. was already an intern at a law firm. No, like, he was. He was, he was right. already a graduate of an Ivy League school. Like, that's yes. working within your right, potential right. already. Right, right. But he didn't believe she just, kinda, she just kind of took it to this the This was no junior well, college. That's, and that's, yeah. what, and that's, and that's the, great, <laughs> that's she, the greatness she, of a black woman. She met him when he was in his raw form. And if she motivated him to, you can be president. Despite all the obstacles or whatever he was facing he credits his wife as saying she motivated me to be a better man he's always sure. said that but she's saying that saying. but she's basically saying, saying that he was yeah. already running that race it, yeah it, 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 it was gonna be michelle it's gonna be somebody you can't who was already on that lane you can't start the race for him is what she said it was, it, okay. no yeah. no no but at the end of the day i think we need more black love so we sure. need to continue to come together and mm-hmm. you know work on these things i'm trying to close it on a nice <laughs> note okay. you know what i'm saying like but but yes. ladies Miss Ebony, thank yes, you for coming yes, on our show absolutely. today. Thank you. Yes, Y'all very please. Conversation. Y'all please. Yes. These comments are on fire. You know oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Them, yeah, we definitely yeah, go through them. Yeah. Sorry, it's on. Uh, that's on Instagram, yeah, and Facebook, Facebook Live. Yeah, and these so. comments are on fire. I don't know what all they we'll said. We'll get to but all y'all yes, this week, we but um, because you want to shout out your show. Yes. I mean, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out um Venus Clapback on YouTube, on Facebook, or on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, if you see anything with Venus Clapback or Black River Life. Happening in Phoenix, you should be there because it's fucking dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna definitely have to make one of these sipping paints. I, yes. I, I, mean, I gotta come. I like, I like wine. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm gonna come through. You know what I'm saying? But yes. thank y'all again, everybody who's uh, tuned in with us with our show today. You know, yes, uh, appreciate y'all coming good back show. for another week. It was, right? <laughs> yes, very, very good insightful. Show. We didn't I could be a bit jarring, so. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you, know. You, yeah. you prepped her. Oh, no, oh yeah. No, I told her. 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 I 
little bit. He didn't even know your name. He Look, had it yet. Uh, like, no, 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 no. I said Ebony. I said hey, Ebony when she came in. Yeah, no, you did. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Yeah, I'm just playing around. Go ahead. All right. Well, again, at if you want to go ahead and follow my handle, I'm at drich1214. And that's on Instagram, or on Facebook. It's Lamont Rich. I'm trying to hide out from my job. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> and then for me, guys, um, so we have a YouTube page, mm -hmm. Nikas with Opinions. Um, I have a personal YouTube, Deanne Ford, Facebook, Deanne Ford, Instagram, Next Love Her. So that's going to conclude our show. Again, yes. thank you all thank for you coming guys. out. Y'all have a great week. Thank you so much, Ebony. <laughs> thank you. Till next time, y'all. Two fingers. Yes. <laughs>